There's a question, a great question here from Tim. And Tim always has a great question here. Tim Martin, thanks so much for this. Um, any thoughts on using Botox to help with finger movements? Okay, um, Tim, yes, yeah, so this is this is something to consider here. So if we remind ourselves of what Botox actually does, right? It's a temporary paralytic that we use to actually stop that tone and that spasticity from kicking in too bad and basically causing a lot of force in your inability to open up your fingers. And so I'd say specifically, the Botox is not gonna help you actually volitionally move your fingers anymore, right? Um, what it would do is it would actually help kind of change the balance of play. You know, we can kind of think of this as a kind of a tug of war almost with respect to the fingers, right? There is a part that's tugging on my flexors over here that's trying to curl them up into a fist. And there's a, a counter ba um, balancing force that's coming from my extensors on this side, which is trying to extend them up, okay? Now, uh, following a stroke or very uh, a lot of neurologic injuries, that balance is, is sort of overbalanced um, and our flexors often win. You guys know this by now. And so what happens is the Botox can be used to actually relax the tone or the adverse sort of activity. Um, those, those neurons are actually firing a lot more than they should. And that causes our flexors to really tighten up. So the, the Botox can go in there and temporary, temporarily paralyze those, the sort, a subset of those motor neurons specifically. And that will cause our flexors here to actually relax a little bit. And then that by nature of its sort of indirect effect will change the balance of those that sort of push pull system. And you'll have the ability, if you have your extensors present, they'll be able to generate uh, more movement because you actually have less force to resist. So I think in an indirect way, Todd, you're exactly right. It will help, but not directly. It's not like you inject the Botox and the Botox makes your muscles move better directly. It's through an indirect effect of reducing the resistance of the spasticity in its counterbalanced muscle. Hopefully that helps to um, answer, um, answer that question, Tim. Uh, 